Hey, I get it. I have a daughter. I wouldn't want her bringing home someone like that. I have a daughter. I wouldn't want her bringing home someone like that. I have a daughter. I wouldn't want her bringing home someone like that. Would not. Wouldn't. Would not. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. D and T get slightly low in tone when you listen it slower. You can see how dimly and vaguely it is pronounced. Now, it is your job to listen it and repeat after me. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. I wouldn't want her bringing home someone like that. I wouldn't want her bringing home someone like that. If you concern that you are not able to speak that fast, then I must say that you have yet to speak all these words at least thousand times, one by one. So, are you ready to speak them thousand times? I don't trust him when I'm home. I think they'll be fine home alone all by themselves for a couple hours after school. Hey. I think they'll be fine home alone all by themselves for a couple hours after school. I think they'll be fine home alone all by themselves for a couple hours after school. Dale. Dale is the short form of they will, they shall. When you hear this reduced sound in normal speed, you only notice a single sound, mostly very little sound. So you need to sharpen your hearing and how to sharpen hearing is to listen the sound at a loud tone and then very down volume. It is my super technique to boost my listening skill and for me effective too. They will, they'll, they shall, they'll. They'll, they'll. I think they'll be fine home alone. You'll be good at speaking. She'll get the degree. He'll succeed definitely. She's not interested in watching them. Doesn't want to give up her afternoons. Of course. I'm sorry. Watching them. Doesn't want to give up her afternoons. Of course. I'm sorry. And watching them. Doesn't want to give up her afternoons. Of course. Doesn't. Doesn't, doesn't. Listening it in normal speed is better because it gives punching sound of does and reduced sound of anti. But listening it in slow makes me wonder why. Why every sound feels fading away? I wonder. Yes, it fades. But I'm here to speak it for you. Doesn't comes for does not. Does not. Doesn't. 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 Doesn't want to give up her afternoons. He doesn't want to create mess. She doesn't feel good. It doesn't make sense. Holy moly. Hey, good, huh? Unbelievable. I'll leave you to it. Unbelievable. I'll leave you to it. Unbelievable. I'll leave you to it. I'll is from I will. I shall. No matter if you listen in normal speed or slower speed, it is unchanging. You need to speak it and try to focus on how this short sound should get your attention. I will. I'll. 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 There is something. There are two more words that produce same sound. I-S-L-E. I'll has same sound and it means an island. An isle. A-I-S-L-E is a passageway like an isle in a movie theater. So all three words match their sounds. I'll, I'll, 
aisle. I'll go get a juice bottle. I'll see you tomorrow. Sure, that's a way to go. Or a guy who works at Red Lobster. That's another way to go. Sure, that's a way to go. Or a guy who works at Red Lobster. That's another way to go. Sure, that's a way to go. Or a guy who works at Red Lobster. That's another way to go. This one is easy to understand and not easy at the same time. That is a short form of that is and that has. First, I will discuss about that. That is that is. A usual way to gesture about something. Point out the focus of attention. That's easy, right? That's cool. That is. That's that yeah but sometimes the reduced sound can trouble but don't get panicked because this is a rule if in any conversation a word is repeated then the second time its voice and sound is reduced intentionally that's very nice of you if your friend say did you see this series that's hilarious and you would answer yeah that's funny that has is used mostly in advanced levels of speaking, usually with complex grammar sentences. For example, that's got to be the dumbest thing I've ever seen. How'd it go with your mom? She hey, how'd it go? Great, turn to channel 7. Hey, how'd it go? Great, turn to channel 7. Hey, how'd it go? Great, turn to channel 7. How'd, 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 how did and how would. Yeah, this stand for both. Listen it normal and slower, but I would suggest all of you to do a deep study of grammar about how to use that form. It is necessary to understand and help listening what the other person is trying to say. See this. Yeah, this example and you would understand why I gave this suggestion. How did it go? How did it go? How did it go? How do you go? Both sentences give different meaning. According to the first sentence, how did it go? Means how you performed or how you spent your time. Did you get what you were gone for? The second sentence means how would you how do you go? It means how you are planning to go or which type of way of travel you would use. How would is differently and entirely a complete different form. How did how how would how sometimes stress on d and sometimes reduce the stress on d sound how 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 it could tag along with the next sound too as in this sentence how did it go how did it go how did it go stay happy and healthy and thank you